Hey, what's cracking everybody? On today's video, we're gonna take a look at a system called Ideal OS, the alternate OS secure by design. I like how all these systems uh, rely heavily on the secure factor of uh, Linux. But anyways, this is Ideal OS and it is, uh, it is based on MX Linux. So this is another uh, respin of MX Linux that we're gonna take a look at. So uh, I got it up in a virtual machine and we'll uh, install it and take a look at Ideal OS. I will have this link down in the video description. So if you want to learn more about it, you know, you'll have the link there. All right, let's head on over to the virtual machine. And we're here now in the virtual machine and uh, there is a uh, icon on the desktop for the installer. So I'll double click on it and it opened up the uh, MX installer. So this is a pretty quick installer. It does everything pretty quick. You're entering your info while it's actually uh, doing the installation. So I like this installer. So right here, your little info, uh, keyboard, is, uh, keyboard is not correct. So I gotta change the keyboard setting. Uh, this is not it. I got to add English US. And the variant. Uh, let's see. I've never had to. I just do no variant. Okay. And I'll put this on top and I'll just uh, remove that one. All right. And let me see hotkeys. Do I need to change anything there? Advanced. Okay, so this installer, it was set up to a German keyboard, but I changed it to US. Click next, select the hard drive, and it says right here we can encrypt or we can enable hibernation support. I don't need any of that. I just click on next. Format the use of the entire disk, of course. And it's starting the installation already, as you can see right here. And from right here, you can change any info. I'll leave, usually I leave this part alone. And I'll just go to my info. So let's see right here, time zone, American English, not in Europe, but uh, let's see, US. And do we have a uh, Los Angeles or Pacific? That works for me. Next, now I'll select my username. Uh, password, give it a strong and complicated password. That's not one, two. All right, and for the root account, I'll do the same. You don't really have to install a root account, but eh, I'll do it. Uh, save live desktop changes. I'll just leave that alone. And for now, we just wait for the installer to finish. So I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video now and we'll come back. We'll be on the ideal OS. Okay, and I got a message right here on the uh, installer. It says fail to update intra init ramfs so i'm not sure if that actually uh did not install let me try rebooting and if not it's going to be a uh it's going to be a live cd overview so uh we'll do that okay so the system did install but i'm running through the updates just in case that fixes whatever that error was but it did install so everything's up to date now so let's go ahead and take a look. This is Ideal OS, and this is based on MX Linux. But instead of using the uh, XFCE desktop environment, they're using the Plasma version. And so far from what I see, everything looks good. Got the panel on the bottom, got the system tray on the right. We have a date and time along with a calendar. We have a pull-up menu with the uh, other options. We have a uh, network manager. We have a most recent device which is your, uh, you know, your mounted drives. We have a volume control and we have a which I believe is a, uh, it's a terminal, a drop down terminal. Yep. So it just drops down from the top and we don't need it. So just put it back up. And then on the right, we have some pin applications. We have a Firefox web browser. We have uh, the Dolphin file manager. And we have the system settings. 
And then we also have the desktops right here. It's your desktop one and desktop two. And then on the far right, the last button, it almost looks like the Manjaro logo, but it's not. It's just three bars straight up and down. And this is your application menu. So if you click on this, you got your application menu and they have their setup the way I like it. So you have uh, recent applications, recent files, you have development, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, MX tools, office, some science and math, settings, system, utilities, help, and your power session, which is also right here. And then you have a search. And then you also have some uh, applications on here, your quick your quick apps. And right here we have uh, CompuToggle, LibreOffice Star Center, MX Tools, uh, MX Package Installer, MX User Manual, Console, and Quick System Info. All right, so as usual, let's take a look at the uh, pinned applications. So we'll take a look at Firefox. Uh, what version are I think they're like in the 130s. But let's uh, go ahead and confirm that. And it is Firefox version 134.0.2. And when you open it up, it opens up the uh, Ideal OS website. And there's a welcome sign or the welcome link. And this is the one that takes you to the link that I'm going to post in the video description. And this is Firefox. Then next to that, we have Dolphin, which is our, uh, our file manager. Let's go ahead and make it big. So you can see right here, they have the standard desktop layout. You got desktops, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, and videos. So pretty much your standard layout. And then you also have the same thing right here on the side as your uh, bookmarks. And then you also have some other folders right here. And of course, if you want to see the hidden files, control H on your keyboard will show you the hidden files. Pretty much works with every uh, file manager on Linux. And next to that, we have the system settings. So the system settings for uh, KDE, KDE, GNOME, XFCE, they all have something kind of similar where you know you have all the options and you open them up and it pulls up all everything you can do right here on the right. So all the options are on the left and everything you can do with it will be come up on the right. So whatever section you wanna edit, you can just click on it and it'll open up the options right here. And from what I see, pretty much uh, they have all the features that you need to get started. For internet, you got your uh, browsers and uh, pretty much everything that you need. Uh, multimedia, you got your audio players, your VLC, so you're pretty much set there. For graphics, they have GIMP, you know, Gwenview, Digicam. So everything that you need to get started is pretty much on here. You got your LibreOffice, so for all your office goods, uh, you know. It comes out of the box pretty much good to go. Everything else, if you want to install it, you know, should be simple. So speaking about installers, let's see, do we have a uh, Discover on here? Being that, yes, we do. And this is your uh, package manager. So with Discover, you see something you like, you want to install it. In this case, let's try Elisa. So right here, it says install. Just click on install and you have the task right here. Enter your uh, password and it'll do the installation. And this is, of course, Elisa. Now, being a uh, MX, uh, MX respin, I believe this is based on Debian. So let me open up this terminal again and let me see if we can uh, sudo app install. Let's do htop and neofetch. And you give it your password, and there you go. So you can use app or you can use discover, whichever one floats your boat, you're good to use it. So let's try HTOP first, see what we got on here. And being that this is a KDE, it is using almost two gigabytes of your RAM, but all the load averages are pretty much low. Let me go ahead and clear the screen, and now we'll do a Neo fetch. All right, and you can see NeoFetch shows it as MX Linux, and the kernel is 6.1.0.
then you have all the other relevant info. Okay, so out of the box, pretty much uh, everything's working good. We did get that one error during the installation, but other than that, it's, I mean, it's working fine. I don't see any problems with it. Let me try opening up some other apps, see if I get any issues. Let's see, GIMP. We'll open up GIMP. Let's go to multimedia. Let's open up VLC. Uh, let's open up LibreOffice. Yeah, see, everything's opening up. It's no problems whatsoever. I don't see any issues. Uh, database wizard, I'll go cancel. Uh, VLC opened up, so pretty much everything opened up. Let me give you another example of Office because I tried to open up the base. Base wants you to set up a database, basically, a local database. But here's LibreOffice opened up now, and you can see. And now we can go, and you got all the options right here. All right, so yeah, everything's working pretty good. Uh, for being KDE, for, for being KDE Plasma, it is a pretty, uh, it feels pretty light. You know, some distros, when you install them, sometimes KDE on a lot of systems, it kind of feels heavy. You could kind of feel like a little lag in your mouse and, you know, the way apps open up and things like that. But right here, everything feels snappy. And I'm pretty sure because the team at MX Linux, they have a pretty awesome development team and uh, they set up things the right way. And this is no different. Everything works good. All right, you guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Just want to take a quick first look at uh, Ideal OS. And for what I see so far, everything looks good. So uh, I would I would recommend this. Uh, so if it's something that you're interested in, I'll have the uh, info down in the video description. Uh, play with it. Remember, play with it in a, in a virtual machine before you go bare metal. That way you can uh, spare yourself some headaches. All right, you guys, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and uh, subscribe. Uh, if you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, give it a thumbs down. Here at Linux Hub, it's all fair game. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. And I'm out.